Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Logan Power Show. That is powerful. That's phenomenal. That is powerful. My name is Calvin Logan. Welcome to the Logan Power Show. That is powerful. That's phenomenal. The Logan Power Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host. They call me Mr. Casanova of the entertainment business, Calvin Logan. I got Mr. Casanova himself. Like I said, working the airways to the island music. I got with me one of the greatest ones, Mr. Kwanzaa McLeish from Casanova Entertainment. How you doing today, Good. sir? Good. I appreciate you coming on the show today. Thank you. Like I said, pleasure, you know I, it's a pleasure to have you on here. And I know that you're making a lot of headway. Um, in the music industry And I know that uh, They call you Mr. Casanova himself And you have the entertainment business <laughs> and, and you're making amazing things happen But I know you're into uplifting people through your music And um, How long have you been doing this now? Music It's like Been doing it for a while you know, sir, But Been doing this professionally since 06 But been writing For a long time Okay You know what I'm saying But Recording and going about, going about performing and stuff professionally, 06. 06, gotcha, gotcha. So like you said, for him, uh, he's making headway. Uh, as you know, with music artists, you got no, he can write his stuff, he can say it, um, but he's most uplifting people. I got with me one of his good CDs, Mr. Mr. Kwanzaa, Here It Goes. Uh, so definitely for those who are out there that want to purchase this, hey, we're the Logan Sh Power Show, got his information on the screen. Contact them today. Uh, I know that this will help you out. I know they got some big things going on also. You're making a lot of headway now. And um, what are some things, you know, with your music? Uh, you say you into uplifting people. What exactly are you telling the people? What is exactly you want the people to know when you're saying your music? You know, the biggest thing is just believe in yourself. Whatever you're trying to do in life, you know what I'm saying? As long as it's positive, as long as it's upright, you know, you got a chance of doing something better for yourself. You know, so just keep the faith no matter what's going on right now, you know what I mean? As you look around, you see a whole lot of chaos, a whole lot of injustice, you know what I mean? Just know that there's hope. My music is like a revival. No matter how harsh you might think you come across or however, but music is life and music is love. So that's what we're trying to give you right now. Hey, hey, he's doing something great. Um, music is life. Uh, for those who don't know, um, there's about maybe over a hundred languages throughout the world, but music, music is a language that everyone can know. Uh, people can say it through their eyes, music can say it through their arms, their legs, uh, and they said so they know how to move. And everyone knows if I'm doing something else, hey, I'm having a good time, or I'm giving um, a person uh, an actual image that you know, I'm feeling what you're actually telling. Um, so for the people that you're fans that are supporting you behind your music, what are some of the feedback you've gotten from how they said you've impacted their lives? That's the, just giving them strength, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they say I really believe, just from me believing in what? I believe in my dream, you know what I'm saying? It showed them that there is a way, you understand what I'm saying, for every, every day to everyday life. You know what I mean? The way it changed your life sometimes, they say like, how your spirit could be so calm in the, in the times of turmoil? You know what I mean? They'll be like, yo, that's a quality they would like to have. You know what I'm saying? Some people like to have that quality. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta meditate. You know what I mean? Meditate some. You know, read the Bible some. You know what I'm saying? Read different books just to see how to handle yourself. And you know what I'm saying? Just check yourself. Wow, wow. Now for those who don't know, he's preaching. I'm telling you, this man's, <laughs> this man's pastor, pastor the airways, Yo. making the difference. And um, that's something that people don't really talk about. Uh, but hey, we take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Damascus Bible College. Enrich your life today. 
Take a course or earn your degree. Online fits you well. Offering six academic programs. We are helping to equip God's people for ministry and life. Learning at your fingertips. Apply today. Creating a place of higher learning and excellence. We bring them all together. Damascus Bible College online and on campus. Experience the difference. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Logan Power Show. It's me, Calvin Logan. I got with me a great artist, Mr. Kwanzaa, here at the building. And we're having, having a great time here at the Logan Power Show, learning how he's staying positive, he's humble, um, his faith is strong, and he's not moved. Uh, now, for an artist that had that kind of personality, that character trait, that's kind of that's unique. Because sometimes people catch their pitfalls, they go through tri trials, tribulations, and challenges. Um, they show it on their expression. You know, they have something like something's going on, they show it, but you're real calm and collective. Um, so tell us, what's some of the pitfalls you've experienced in this industry? Psst, trying to find goods, or uh, even trying to find people on the level that you want. That's like the hardest thing, you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody want to hear what you're trying to give. It's not, we're not preaching. We're just trying to show your whole life is. You understand what I'm saying? Can't help it. <laughs> it's, part of, it's part of who I am. It's just trying to show you how to live, you know, in a right way. You know what I'm saying? So, as they say, karma. Karma won't come back and get you. You know, that's the word they use nowadays, karma. You know what I mean? So you try to, write, you try to walk the path. It's not necessary you just trying to be righteous or anything because humans going to be humans. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to be who we are. But, you know, you got to have your mind. You got to be focused on a goal, a dream, something that you'll have a vision to be, uh, to do, you know. So you just got to stay focused. Definitely. So you have to stay focused. You de definitely have to stay the course. And that's what he's talking about. He's talking about, for instance, to not let circumstances, situations define who you are. You change your environment. If something's wrong, make that adjustment. Don't sit there and let people dictate who you are. You know, I've, I've learned this through my life, um, 13 years in the military, still now. Um, I know that people will judge you from a mistake or they try to think that that's the situation, but they really don't know that's not the truth. Um, I've always known this, you have to, build relationships, have a good heart, because it definitely can pay off. Uh, for those who don't know, Mr. Kwanzaa is a very important and, and very hard man to get in contact with, but I reached out to him and he was kind enough to come on the show. Um, I know for me, um, you, people always say you need a thousand no's, but it takes that one yes. And I got the one yes to come on the show. It's um, good. And so for me, um, it's respect for me to, for a guy to come on that doesn't know me, I don't know him, but hey, he's, he's t actually teaching the same stuff we talk on the show, to uplift people, to make a difference. Don't sit there and allow others to say, okay, well, you can't make it or you won't be nothing. But he's really teaching in his music. I haven't heard a track yet, but hey, I know that this man right here is making a difference. And I was just seeing what he has on his page, what he's doing in the community, and he wants to make a difference. You know, I don't judge by how you look. I'm gonna be honest with you. And people don't get it twisted or get it kind of construed that, you know, because I'm dressed a certain way, that's to find who I am. You know, people can be laid back and this is how they dress on one day and they flip the next. You know me, I got to dress. You may see me in a shirt and tie one week on the show. Next week, another way, another way on the show. But hey, I don't want to talk about myself. We want to focus Mr. Kwanzaa and what he's doing. Um, so right now, you're very busy. You're making a lot of making a lot of noise here throughout the United States. What do you see your music going next three to five years? Where would you like to take it? Worldwide. Worldwide. Not just local, you know what I'm saying? I want to take it international, for real. Okay. Like we said, music is life. Right now we got Casanova Entertainment and our logo, you know what I'm saying, is our motto, Ujumajaniya, collectively God purpose. So whatever we do, it got to be a 
on a godly level, a spiritual level. You know what I'm saying? Whoever we meet, they got to be intertwined with what we're trying to do. We don't just do this to say we live, we live and we do this for the children. Because I'm a father, I don't know who else in there are mothers or fathers, you know what I'm saying? We all, and you, got, you might got your nieces, your nephews, your cousins, they're small and they look up to you. So you got to set a standard. So we got casting over entertainment. And that's what we stand for, you know what I'm saying? We stand for a brighter day, brighter future. No injustice and none of that stuff, you know what I mean? Like we say, we fight not flesh, but spiritual wickedness, yo. And that's how we roll, you know what I'm saying? Just love, smile, respect each other, you know what I'm saying? And we, that's all we got to do. We do start doing it like that, you know, and just teach the children how to live, man. It could be a better day, a brighter day, you know, a better future. Hey, you see this guy right here? I'm a father of three. Um, me and my wife been married, going to be going 10 years. Um, I know he's really teaching really how to parent. He's really teaching you how to live life. And he's teaching his model, his faith. This is what he believes in. Uh, and I'm in agreement with him. Uh, and I, me personally, I mean, he's helping me because he's encouraging me that his spirit is um, very positive. You know, stop always getting caught up in, like, you know, he may, not be, he may not be like laughing across the screen or stuff like that, but what he's teaching you, he's very calm, very collective, and he's got a good spirit about himself. And I know that his family um, is very blessed by having him, he's a trailblazer for his family. So I know that uh, we're going to definitely enjoy what he's going to do in 2015, going on so forth. Uh, but before we go, you said you want to be worldwide. I know that you're gonna, that's going to happen. We're here at the Logan Power Show. Definitely support you. Um, yes. Where is one place you say, hey, I'll, if, I, if I had a place to go, <laughs> if I was given a place, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go worldwide. There's one place I'm going to go and make it happen. Where's the place you say, I'm going to go and make my mark there? Africa. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't really think it really matter which part of Africa, but we got, we know people in Zimbabwe, we know people in South Africa. So, yo, either one of them countries, yeah, we go there and rock out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 go for real. It doesn't even matter. We got musicians on board. Know that. We got this thing coming for y'all, man. We got love. That's how we're going to spread through the music and everything. Gotcha. So we're here, man. Love gotcha. Man. gotcha. Bless, yo. Yeah, bless. Bless being here. Hey, everybody. We're having a great time. For those who, like I said, we're about to get off the show, get off air. But as you can see, his faith is, his faith is exciting. I'm excited <laughs> with him. I know that when he goes to the kind of effort, he's going to make noise. Oh, yeah. Um, so many countries. People want to have a good time. It's all about one love, one peace, coming together, unite. Come together, people, understand this. We're going to make a difference, and really? we're going to make a difference here on this show. This is all my time. My name is Calvin with the Logan Power Show. We are signing off, and have a great day. Bless. Natural tea is our specialty at Prescription for Beauty, where we specialize in healthy hair. We are located at 850. The Logan Power Show is me, your host, smiling and profiling, Calvin Logan. I thank you all for your support, um, your calls that you've given to me, your emails, uh, your Twitter information that you sent to me, your tweets, your Facebook posts. We thank you for supporting us, uh, and we are having a ball here. This is the time for worship. And I have with me a great, phenomenal gospel artist, Miss Crystal Brown Gibson. Thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Oh, so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, definitely. Now, for those who don't know, she is a world-renowned artist. She's been around the globe. Um, she lives here in the Low Country, and uh, I know that when you guys hear her voice, it will take it another level. Um, her information is on the screen. Uh, for Miss Crystal Brown Gibson, um, you can buy her stuff on Amazon, iTunes, CD Baby. You can see stuff on YouTube. I got with me two of her albums here. Uh, Tonight We Worship, uh, something that uh, it will take another worship experience. And then another interest one, her newest one, Holiday Worship. And it's a little different type of spin. But I know I don't want to do all the talking because, hey, being the host, I want to have fun. But we want to know more about this lovely lady here. So for me, and I know a lot of people want to know this, um, how long have you been really been singing gospel music right now? Well, I started singing, um, like many gospel artists, as a little girl um, in the church. I grew up in a small Baptist church on Johns Island. Started singing at age six, seven in the choir. Um, on different community programs, but um, on a professional level, I would say 
um, traveling around the United States and certainly abroad, um, maybe about 10 years, 10 years singing professionally. Okay, okay. Yeah, 10 years, that's a great time professional level. Now, when you know, a lot of people always ask themselves, you know, you know, choosing a certain kind of genre of music, and you know, you've had a gift at an early age. Um, you know, a lot of people they find a different form, different type of age groups. You know, mm-hmm. early age, you know, teenage years. Yes. Biggest question is why gospel music? What made you to let you to say I'm gonna? That's what I'm gonna focus on. Well, because I started singing in the church um, and being a church girl, certainly I I didn't know that there were other genres of music (laughs) until I got to be a little older. So gospel music um, has been my foundation. And of course, as I began to mature and grow and start to really know what gospel music was, that it really was the good news of Jesus Christ, uh, it became uh, my passion. And certainly I appreciate other genres of music, jazz, blues, um, and some R and B gospel music is is really the music of the um, music of the soul, and if you're going to do something, it is important that you're passionate about that. And because gospel music is where my passion is, is uh, where that word is rooted in. For me, it's been my choice. Well, that's a great choice, and, and you know, I I have nothing against that. Me, I love gospel music. Um, I'm the kind of person, you know. I, I for me I can't do all the singing like Crystal can. Crystal can I'm telling you she can blow you away. Um, I've seen her at St. John's Church downtown um, with Brother Dallas Wilson. Uh, it's a great church. And when I heard her like she was playing the piano, you no know, no mic'd up, and she was going to town. You know just I mean just you like her voice it amplifies the room. And I think that for me I was like man who's this person singing? right here next to me and you know met her you know and i'm like man she can really sing you know because me i do the shower thing you know calvin in the shower you know at home i'm, I'm driving the car i'm trying to <laughs> turn the mic up sing, you know turn the volume sing sing myself sing it sing it you know you running and stuff like that uh so i think that for us you gotta love what you do i love meeting people I want to impact people. I know for some of you out there, you say, Calvin, you know, I got a passion for this. I love it. I've always said this. If you love it, there's not really a price tag on it. If you really love something, if you really love doing it. Uh, But I know that we're going to have some fun. I see my producer said we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Damascus Bible College. Enrich your life today. Take a course or earn your degree. Online fits you well. Offering six academic programs. We are helping to equip God's people for ministry and life. Learning at your fingertips. Apply today. Creating a place of higher learning and excellence. We bring them all together. Damascus Bible College online and on campus. Experience the difference. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, the Smiling Cat, right here, Calvin Logan. I got with me the greatest, one of the greatest gospel artists, Ms. Crystal Brown Gibson. We're having fun. And um, I know that you're doing some great things. And um, you know, some things that people always want to ask, what are some of the pitfalls that you fall into um, is one question. And then, um, have you had that kind of temptation where, you know, people will say, you know, Crystal, you can make some more money if you decided to go away from the gospel side mm-hmm. and let's try something different, you know? So what are the things that, you know, have you experienced in your life? Um, well, the first part of your question um, dealt with what are some of the pitfalls? Um, some of the pitfalls that you may experience as, um, as an artist Um, The first one certainly being um, copycatting another artist. It's okay to find a mentor, and you should. Um, Every artist needs a mentor or someone they admire, a style that you admire. But trying to copycat an artist 
um, just verbatim, you're not really being who you are as an artist. If, if you're a worship leader, if those are worship songs that God has given you, you need to sing it and present it just like he does. And that's, that's what I do. However I hear him singing it to me, that's how I write it, that's how I record it. Um, the other part of that would be, um, certainly there probably would be other um, genres that would afford you what may appear to be more money, more opportunities. But um, one thing about um, the industry, you really don't know it until you're in it. It's easy to look on the outside at the cars, the, the gigs, and what looks like a lot of money. But um, I've found that when you do what you're passionate about and what you're born to do, um, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. All those other things really will come. But if you do what you're passionate about, and, and not only be passionate, but you have to perfect your passion. Because sometimes you can be, oh, I'm just so happy I want to sing, sing, sing. But you have to be anointed to do this work and certainly do it with excellence when you're doing it to the kingdom of God. That is such a profound statement. I mean, I think like you're preaching to everybody out there. Um, I know for me, you know, I'm a positive person. You know, for when you think about talk shows, you know, people think, you know, you can be really negative mm -hmm. and amplify the negative. Mm -hmm. And to be quite honest, I think most of the time we do amplify the negative. Mm -hmm. If it's the news, um, I think for a lot of times we don't get the full story. I think if someone put out there, someone did something wrong, uh, they messed up, they don't get the full story of that person or they'll give options like, Calvin, if you spend it this way, you know, uh, you, it will make you more money, mm -hmm. you know. But I feel like this, uh, I feel everybody in life if you're past the sun, you love it. I feel everyone should always be given a second chance. Yes. I feel that um, people need to learn how to love one another yes. and not to prejudge. And when you talk about worship, it's another experience. And she's a different type of artist. There's one thing in gospel or just in arts in, in general, you have a person that's, I'm singing for entertainment purposes, but you have another person who really say, okay, I'm going to worship. And like I said, it, I don't, it, it, if, you, if, you, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, you don't believe in God, I know I do. I know it, it's worked for us mm -hmm. and the people who I've encountered. Uh, if you want to, if you definitely want to know more about it, hey, give us a call. We'll point you in the right direction. Um, but if you like say whatever you want to do, whatever your belief system is, you got to love what you do. And you got to make a mark that can't be erased. But I know we're about to go, but before we go, I want to know where do you see this plane ride of yours going in the next three to five years? Where do you see the Crystal Brown Gibson show going? Um, well, you know, I have um, been studying this week. Uh, it's funny that you would ask. Um, the 16th proverb, and the very first verse says that we make our plans, but um, only God is really in full control. Um, but I do set, I do do a goal board, a vision board every year, and I still see myself recording more music. I still see myself um, traveling. I've been, um, I've been to many, many states for many occasions, and and God has just been good. Um, not much advertising. Um, the word of the Lord said that your gift will make room for you, and it is it's not just a cliche. It is very true, and will bring you before great men. And that's what He's been doing. I've been on Bobby Jones Gospel. I've um, um, sang for Moja, Spilato, City of North Charleston Cultural Arts Festival, Dr. King events in Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, just many, I've, I've been to Sunday's Best in Atlanta. Um, and it's not Sunday's Best, it's Sunday Best. Correction, Crystal. You're an artist, you ought to know that. <laughs> and so have really been opening a lot of doors. Um, so um, I just see myself continuing to just walk in the doors. Um, I don't just sing in church. But everywhere I go, I let everyone know that I am a lover of the Lord and that I'm singing the Lord's songs. I uh, went to Louisiana the other day. I said, okay, I hope they know that I sing gospel. <laughs> I'm going to sing about Jesus. <laughs> and so uh, wherever he takes me, um, as long as I can, don't tell me that I can't say Jesus and don't tell me that I can't sing about God. <laughs> and so wherever he takes me, I'm, I'm ready. Whether it's in the church, whether it's in other venues, um, I, I'm going to let my light shine wherever he takes me. That is got to be um, a, hum a humbling statement for me. You have a very humble spirit, very meek, and the meek will inherit the earth the Bible talks about. Amen. And I think that 
for me, I'm very humble. Actually, I'm, I'm around great people. You know, that's what I'm around. And uh, as you can see, she's a, a pretty much she pretty much is a hot artist right now, and she's made a name for herself. And so, for those who are out there that think that you know you can't do it, you gotta have a vision board. You know, this year, whatever you have to decide for 2015, whatever you want to do, hey, make it happen. Write it down. Make the vision. Yes, you will be successful. Um, so. I know that you guys will be successful here. I want to thank everyone for tuning yes. in. We thank you for coming. Hey, tune in to our next show. That'll be next broadcast. Hey, live here the Logan Power Show. My name is Calvin Logan. We appreciate it. We love you. See you this week. Lyman Specific Chiropractic Clinic. We're licensed chiropractors in the state of South Carolina. Give us a call today. Our number is 843-771-4286. We're located at 606 Old Trolley Road, Suite 102 in Somerville, South Carolina. We specialize in motor vehicle accidents, wellness care, sports injuries, headaches, back pain, and more. Hey, I'm Dr. Taylor.